The Republican National Committee breaking fundraising records, raising $14 million in July, more than it raised in the same month back in 2010 and 2014 combined. The RNC has raked in $227 million since the beginning of the 2018 election cycle. The Democratic National Committee raising less than half that amount, $109 million. Joining us tonight, the chair of the Republican National Committee, Ronna McDaniel. Well, first of all, congratulations on raising all of that money. Uh, it's, uh, what does that actually pretend in your judgment uh, for, as far as the outcome of these uh, midterm elections? Well, the, the media keeps talking about the energy on the left. Let me tell you, we see the energy on the right in this fundraising. A lot of it's coming from small-dollar donors who support President Trump. They are fueling the support of the RNC, which we are putting directly into our ground game in 20, 28 states with 20,000 field organizers across the country preparing for these midterms. So our base is energized, they're donating, and they recognize what's at stake in these midterms. Well, you, a lot of folks are hearing you say 28 states and thinking, wait a minute, we've got 50 of those. Uh, we're, we're coming up about 22 short. What, what's the deal? So we're focusing on states where we have competitive races. First of all, 13 Senate states, you know, the three that we have to hold, Tennessee, Nevada, and Arizona. And then the 10 states where President Trump won, where we have Democrats like Claire McCaskill and Joe Manchin and Joe Donnelly and John Tester and these these Democrats that are going to have to struggle to keep their seats. So we're really competitive in those seats, Florida with Bell Nelson, and then the House seats that we have to be competitive in all across the country. So we, we use our data well, to determine where to compete, and that's where we invest because we have to keep these majorities. Well, you're keeping the majority and keeping control of the Senate and the House, your mission uh, where do you stand right now in your judgment? Because looking at the Cook Political Report, various others, we see a highly competitive, uh, closely fought contest right now uh, with just about 80 days out from the election. So it is going to be competitive. On the Senate side, I think we're going to pick up seats. We have great opportunities, like I said, in Florida, North Dakota, Indiana, Missouri, where our candidates are leading right now. They're Democrat opponents. We have opportunities to pick up seats on the Senate. The House side, we know history, Lou. The history is against the party that holds the White House. They right. usually shed about 30 seats. By mm -hmm. having the most robust infrastructure and the largest ground game we've had in the RNC history, we are engaging with these voters. We are sharing with them the results that are happening from this administration, and we are energizing them, making sure that they do not become complacent and, and not realize how important it is to get out and vote and make sure we keep these majorities. So that's what the RNC is focused on. We've won eight out of nine specials. And think about that. The Democrats have come in. They've had the home court advantage of the mainstream media, giving these uh, special election Democrats a huge advantage, tons of money coming in, and we've been able to hold them off in mm -hmm. eight out of nine House contests. So I feel very good going into these midterms, but it's going to be a challenge up until uh, Election Day, and we have to work as hard as we can, and we Every cannot get complacent. Everybody's trying to divine the role of the president here. You and I have talked about that. Uh, I, I'm delighted that you believe that the uh, candidates have to identify yes. with the president uh, and fully support his agenda. Uh, I'm also, though, seeing uh, some uh, absence, uh, some absenteeism on the campaign trail. I was told that uh, Speaker Paul Ryan was going to be very important, yet I see the president boosting candidates in every direction, putting, shouldering uh, this, uh, this party in both houses uh, and taking responsibility and uh, helping candidates wherever he can. Where in the hell is the speaker? Well, I know he's fundraising, but I will just tell you, the president is where the energy is in our party. I see it everywhere. We just saw it in the Ohio 12 race. We were behind an absentee early vote, and the second we pulled the president into that race on the Saturday before the Tuesday election, we exceeded our election day turnout because of the energy the president brings to these candidates. Listen, Lou, you know this as well as anybody. Voters don't feel the same way about, way about Congress that they do about President Trump. No, a lot don't. of our voters love President Trump, but they don't feel great about Congress. So they don't always say, I'm going to go vote for that Republican. So the president has to get in and make the case as, if I don't have the majority, this is what's going to happen. Right. And when he does that, it wakes up our voters, and it is our best tool to winning in these midterms. Do I infer correctly from what you're saying is it's a pretty good strategy to keep the Speaker of the House and his name out of these midterms? 
You're inferring correctly when I say keep President Trump on the trail because he is the best person to energize our base. And you see it in the rallies. I see it everywhere. You're seeing it in the RNC record fundraising. We need President Trump out. He talks to me. He's like, I want to be out six days a week. We would love that. I don't know how many days he's going to be out, but it's going to be more than any past president. You know, if there were just some way we could bottle his energy, his uh, talent, uh, and his uh, communication powers for every one of those uh, Republicans, it would be wonderful. I guess the next best thing is for him to work seven days a week, 24 hours a day until uh, November 6th. Ronna, if there's anyone who can do it, it's President Trump. Absolutely. Ronna, thank you very much for being with us. We wish you uh, great luck. Thanks.